Today, we're going to show you how to run Windows from a USB drive. Whether you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, this method is a great way to carry your OS with you wherever you go. Let's get started. It's recommended to use a USB 3.0 drive for faster performance. Make sure to back up any important data on the USB drive, as this process will erase everything on it. Next, you need to download the Windows ISO file. Head over to the Microsoft website and download Windows 11, depending on which version you want to install. Choose your language, edition, and architecture. Then select ISO file and save it to your computer. To create a bootable USB drive, we'll use a tool called Rufus. Go to the Rufus website and download the latest version. Click to open Rufus. In Rufus, select your USB drive from the device drop-down menu. Click Select and choose the Windows ISO file you downloaded earlier. Leave other things as it is. Here you can rename your USB drive. After that, click Start. Here choose Windows 11 Pro option. Now here you can set the user's name as you want and even leave other options checked. Now go on, click on OK. Rufus will start create a bootable USB drive for you. This process might take a few minutes. Done. Boot from the USB drive. Once Rufus is done, restart your computer and enter the BIOS or UEFI settings. This is usually done by pressing a key like F2, F12, Delete or S during the boot process. Check your computer's manual for the exact key. Now select your drive and then press enter on your keyboard. Your computer will now boot from the USB drive. The installation process will take some time, so be patient. After the installation is complete, your computer will restart and boot into Windows from the USB drive. Follow the initial setup process to configure your Windows environment. And there you have it. You've successfully installed and are now running Windows from a USB drive. This setup is perfect for carrying your personalized OS with you or for troubleshooting other computers. That's all for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.